Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to create everyday French makeup look. I'm going to be wearing a red lip and I'm going to be sharing with you my French beauty secrets. I'm not French but I lived in France in my 20s and I feel adopted by France. So that's why I thought I wanted to cherish one of the countries where I truly feel home. I, when I'm in France, I don't feel like a foreigner, so I thought that I'm going to cherish this on my YouTube channel and I'm going to create a whole new section on my YouTube channel where I'm going to be sharing with you my French beauty secrets. I'm going to post one video every week and I'm going to have a separate section and the section is going to be called French for a day. So let's go ahead and get started. Now for this first video of French beauty secrets, I thought I'm going to share with you the secrets of creating the perfect red lip for an everyday look. French women love to wear a statement red lipstick every single day and it always looks so effortless, elegant, beautiful, but once you start recreating the look, it just somehow doesn't look right. Well, that's because they actually put a lot of effort into creating this look. It's not as easy as it looks. It looks easy, but it's not actually. And the whole everyday French makeup look is about being imperfect. However, I like to call this the controlled imperfection. So everything is very much controlled and they put a lot of effort into their skincare. Now I don't have anything on my face right now so let's go ahead and start with a proper skincare routine so that I really can get the glow and my skin is going to be naturally beautiful and it's not going to need a lot of foundation. Now number one when we are wearing a red lip we need a really good canvas. I'm going to be starting with an eye mask actually because why not? We're doing it the French way. And I'm going to be starting with one of my favorite eye masks. Now, if you are going to be wearing a red lip every single day, you need to make sure that your skin is in a really good condition because a red lip needs really perfect canvas. So I like to put these in the fridge. All of the products that I'm going to be using are going to be in the description box. I like to put this in the fridge just for a few minutes before I apply them because they are going to be more refreshing. If you don't have time in the morning, of course, you can do this in the evening, but make sure that your skin is really nicely hydrated, moisturized, and now it's gonna be a huge mess, but we're doing the French look properly. So I always do 100%. So let's go ahead and place this one. Now this is gonna look weird but it's so cooling and it somehow helps me to wake up. And once again, I'm usually going to do this in the evening, but since now we are creating the classic French makeup look, I thought, why not? And I'm gonna have my morning coffee looking like that. Okay, give this video a thumbs up right now for me looking silly. Now there is a lot of serum in here, so I never like to waste it. And I'm usually just going to take the rest of the serum and apply it all over my face. So there is a lot of serum inside these masks and they are, the serum is literally enough for your whole face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some serum on my face as well, because I want my skin to be nice and hydrated. And now for me, it's going to be the perfect time to check out the comments on my latest videos and chat with you guys. So skincare always comes first in France. My whole face feels a lot more refreshed. Skincare is a huge thing in France. I think that people spend a lot more on skincare than makeup. They don't necessarily own the latest makeup collections, but they're definitely going to spend a lot more on their skincare. So always make sure that you're starting with a good canvas, exfoliated skin the night before, because this is gonna help to make the whole look much easier. And now I'm gonna go ahead and follow with some of my favorite skincare products. So I'm not going to miss the under eye cream because I really want this area nice and hydrated. I'm not in my early 20s, so 
I need a lot of hydration here and I need something that is going to really blur my fine lines. So I'm using one of my favorite products for eyes. It really helps to hydrate the under eye area and it helps all the fine lines as well. Then moving on to the serum and I really want to not forget the neck as well because we often tend to forget the neck. And since today I'm filming this video, I'm gonna just pamper myself a little bit more. Well, we have to admit the glow is there and I have a little breakout here that I am trying to cure. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of Efeclar. This is the European version of Efeclar, but I'm always going to apply it on places where I have some breakouts. Next, I actually forgot to apply a little bit of lip balm or a lip mask. I always apply a lip mask or, or a lip balm at the time when I'm waiting my face mask or eye mask to soak in. I just forgot, so I'm gonna do it now. Next, I'm gonna follow with my SPF, but I'm not going to be applying a moisturizer because my skin is really nicely hydrated right now after the mask and after the serum and everything. And this one as well, it acts for me almost like a moisturizer slash SPF. Okay, now I'm ready to move on to the actual makeup part of this video. I'm gonna start with a little bit of primer and this one is by Clé de Paul. I'm going to write all of the products in the description box. I'm going to be using only that much and I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply this primer only on the sides of my nose, places where I'm going to get shiny right here on the chin and the center of my forehead as well. I'm basically applying the primer on the places where my skin is going to get a little bit shiny throughout the day because I want to really help the foundation to stay better. So not all over my face, but only the places where I need it, because when we're talking about the classic French makeup look, it's all about what you actually need. Now, one thing that I want to say here is don't go ahead and follow the makeup tutorial blindly. Make it your own. Make sure that you are customizing all of the steps that you see here for your own skin. Make sure that they are going to work for you because we are all different and the whole idea is to create this really beautiful flawless makeup look. Now I'm going to be using a tinted moisturizer here and I'm going to be using it only on the places where I need. I'm mixing two colors to get the perfect match. for my skin tone. And I want to make sure that my makeup is really well blended. Um, even though I'm going to be wearing a red lip, I still don't want my makeup to be visible on the face. I still want to create the illusion that I just have very well moisturized, perfected skin, but I don't want to have too much makeup because this is going to be the key and it's gonna make the whole makeup more long lasting, less is more with French makeup. It's all about the skincare, so be sure to focus on the skincare, be sure to focus on the health of your skin and less makeup. I am going to need a touch of concealer under my eyes and I'm going to mix the concealer with the tinted moisturizer. I'm using a Dior Backstage concealer mixed with my tinted moisturizer. And I'm going to place it only right here, two dots where I need it. And I like to blend it with my finger and then use a damp beauty blender to make the whole result more seamless.
Now, if you do not need concealer, just don't use it. I feel like I need a little bit of concealer only right here in the inner corners of my eyes. I often see people applying concealer all over them under the eyelids and this can create problems. Actually, very few people need concealer right here and this is usually where your smile lines, where your um, fine lines are going to appear. So make sure that you don't have a lot of product here because it's not going to look beautiful. Okay, so this is what we have so far and I'm going to lightly fill in my brows. French women never follow trends. Some of them don't fill in their brows, some of them would just leave them au naturel, but others are going to lightly fill in their brows, just like me. It all depends on the person and all depends on the preferences. The key here is to keep it as natural as possible. I usually don't fill in my brows on a daily basis, but if I'm going to be wearing a red lip, I feel like I need this extra step. Next, I'm going to be using some blurring powder just on the sides of my nose. I'm using a dry sponge and just using the powder where I might get shiny throughout the day. Okay, I'm applying just a little bit of blush and then I'm going to be back once I put on my red lipstick. And now once I'm done with my base, I usually would apply my red lipstick first and then go in with a little bit of makeup on my eyes because it's going to give me the idea of how much makeup I need on my eyes because the whole focus is going to be on the red lips. So that's why I want to have this one first on my lips. And I believe that when it comes to wearing a red lipstick, every French woman has, has her own beauty secret. So be sure to leave me your secrets in the comment section below. It doesn't matter whether you're a French girl or any other nationality, just leave us some tips and tricks about wearing a red lipstick for every single day. So here everyone is going to give you their own tips and tricks and it really practice makes perfect. So when you start wearing the red lipstick, you're going to find your own tips and tricks and you're going to find your own little secrets on how to wear it. I usually like to wear a red lipstick that is not too bright, not too orangey. I like to stick to a classic red lipstick and I'm going to show you my tips um, in a minute. So for me, it is a must to have a lipstick that is going to be a little bit let's say not flat matte, but I like a lipstick that is not shiny and not glossy because glossy red lipsticks are always high maintenance. Imagine that you're going to be outside the whole day and you might experience some windy weather. You don't want your hair to be stuck on your red lipstick or you don't want a red lipstick that is too high maintenance. And usually the glossy red lipsticks are always high maintenance they might bleed so i like to stick to something that is a little bit more matte like this lipstick here that i'm going to be using right now and don't be afraid also to mix and match the red lipsticks you might use two or three lip colors that's usually what french women are going to do they are usually going to use two or three red lipsticks and customize the color and make them make it their own color some people like to apply the red lipstick with fingertips to make this imperfect shape of the lipstick and to make it more kind of a casual, effortless chic. I don't like to apply with my fingertips because my lips are very thin, very small. So if you have fuller lips than mine, you might try this trick, applying the lipstick just with your fingertips. But I find this to be a little bit time consuming and I like to use it more if I want to do a stain. But today I wanna to go ahead and have the full red lipstick, like a really saturated red lip color. So I'm gonna go ahead straight from the bullet and shape my lips. So first I like to follow the contours of my lips and then I like to shape them a little bit.
Okay, so this is if I follow the contours of my lips, but I want to enhance the shape just a little bit. So I'm gonna go over my natural lip contour just a little bit. And give them the shape that I want. So you have to make this in a very subtle way so that it's not going to be visible and it's not going to be, it's not going to create problems during the day. Okay, so here comes my big secret. Now, once I'm happy with the shape of my lips that I have, I'm going to take a Q-tip and I'm going to go over the edges very lightly. I'm going to use one Q-tip for my whole mouth. So you have to be very careful and I like to go over the edges. This is going to make the whole lipstick a little bit more blurred, the lip lines actually a little bit more blurred, which is going to make it more everyday friendly. This is my secret tip. It's almost like this controlled imperfection. So you don't want your lipstick to be perfect. You don't want your makeup look to be perfect. If you want to make it just like the French like to do it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but this imperfection has to be controlled. It's always a controlled imperfection. So let's go ahead and try that. And I twist the cotton because you can see here. Okay, so you can see a little bit of the red lipstick here. So you always have to twist the cotton as you keep doing this, as you keep going over your mouth, because otherwise it's going to be messy. So you have to work with a clean Q-tip. So be sure to twist it. So I'm going over the edge and twisting it. Next, I'm gonna be using the other side. And then I'm gonna use another one. Sometimes I would use one, but sometimes I would use two of those because it all depends. Okay, so now we have the so-called controlled imperfection, and this is this really soft blurred line along my lips. I don't have a lip liner and I don't use a lip liner if I'm going to do a red lip lipstick for everyday use, because for everyday you don't want it to be perfect. You don't want to have those graphic lines. You want it to be imperfect, but at the same time, you know, the controlled imperfection. Of course, the eyes here are going to be very simple. They are always going to be very simple because you want the lips to be the statement and you want the whole accent to be on the lips. I'm going to be using this shade here from Tissé Révoli by Chanel. I'm going to be using it with a big blending brush, just a little bit. I'm dipping the brush and then taking the excess on my hand and I'm going to apply roughly the color just in my crease here the outer part of my crease almost like a cloud of color this is usually going to take me a few seconds because we're not actually creating a look we're just creating a little bit of shadow and for this i'm always using a big blending brush because it's very easy it just creates immediately this cloud of color and it doesn't take you too much time it just takes a few seconds to apply this color. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of the highlighter that I'm using. So when I'm doing the French red lip, the highlighter that I'm using is always very important. It's always going to be incredibly subtle and natural. So I'm going to apply a little bit of the highlighter just with a big brush right here. This is only going to bring a little bit of light to my eyelids, not too much. That's it, and I'm going to take advantage actually and apply a little bit of highlighter on the high points of my cheeks. 
this highlighter in particular doesn't have any shimmery particles and I'm either going to be using a liquid highlighter that is very subtle and doesn't have shimmery particles or this highlighter. Okay, so I caught my eyelashes and the key to mascara application, my secret tip is not to apply too much mascara and usually mascara wands have too much product and this is not going to be possible unless you wipe the wand. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the excess, literally wipe the wand of the mascara so that I don't have a lot of product and that's how I'm going to just wiggle the brush and that's how I'm going to get um, more definition separated lashes and more natural look on the eyes. Now next, and this is something that I would usually do on the go, but I'm gonna do it here now. I'm going to blot and apply the lipstick again, just to make it more long lasting. I'm not touching the edges because they are nicely blurred, but I just want to fill in my lips. Okay guys, now brushing my brows just once again, one last time, and I'm almost going to be ready. Just going to add a touch of bronzer, but I'm going to add it on top of the blush and elongate it here. You don't have to do this step if you don't feel like doing it but I just feel like I can add a little bit of color here. It's all up to you. The final touches, everything is going to be up to you. And now I'm just going to let my hair down. Now I think that I'm ready to enjoy my croissant. Now the reasons why we don't usually do the hair, um, like we don't usually pay too much attention to the hair and we don't do the perfect hairstyle is that if you have the red lip and you have this very perfect hairstyle, it gets a little bit more kind of a Hollywood style and you have to worry if the wind blows and you have to worry when you run during the day because you're probably going to be in the office, out of the office, you're going to have lunch, you're going to meet friends and you just need to have the freedom to have movement. You don't have to worry about your hair. You can just, you need to have the freedom to just move with your hair. And okay guys, and finally I have a few more tips on how to master the French red lip look. Now, number one, enjoy, make sure that you are happy and wear your red lipstick with confidence. It's all about how you feel and it's all about how you wear it. So be sure to enjoy, wear it with confidence. Number two, do not obsess over your hair and how your hair is gonna look. So don't try to make this really perfect Hollywood curls and don't obsess over the fact how your hair looks. So you're not going for the classic Hollywood style look where the hair is really gonna have this perfect curves and you're gonna worry. You are wearing the lipstick for every day. So you're going to be in the office. You're probably going to run outside, grab some lunch with friends. You're going to run errands the whole day. So your hair should be free. You shouldn't worry how your hair is going to look. So be sure to just have a more relaxed hairstyle. And then the clothing is also very important make sure that you're wearing comfortable clothes and make sure that you invest in pieces that you can wear over the ears. Also, if you're wearing the classic red lipstick like this one, it's good to opt for more neutral colors in your clothes and probably mix something that's more casual with dress up pieces. You might wear a white shirt or you might want to wear more neutral colors um, or a nice trench coat. It's always going to be a very nice choice. Be sure to not wear really high heels because this is going to bother you the whole day and nobody in France actually wears really high heels unless it's a party, unless it's an evening. So this is going to be my classic French everyday makeup look. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I hope to see you in my next video. A bientôt!